going on everybody? My name is Fernando Gonzalez and welcome back to my channel guys. So as you can see, uh, got some new pre-workout, got some blue raspberry, origin pre. It's gonna put it in my zoo cup, put a little more than I need because I'm kind of crazy like that. And uh, yeah, today is the leg day guys. You guys didn't know already, I'm gonna squat, do some more bodybuilding work. I'm gonna really work on hamstrings, so that's the focus today. I'm gonna start with squats, but then I'm gonna move on to doing some stiff legged deadlifts. Then I'm gonna do some bodybuilding work, like some hamstring curls and stuff like that. I really wanna focus on the hamstrings today. I noticed that they really lag behind and I need to do them more often. You know, I gotta zoom in on that, do raspberry. Whoa. Yeah, so I'm gonna get, get a quick taste test right now. Quick taste test. We'll see how it goes. Let me know guys, how's your day going today? Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. It's a great Sunday, right Kevin? Waking up, it's fucking... The beer was slow, so we had to do this huge detour. It was horrible. It was horrible. Let's go down the street, dude. It wasn't too bad. It wasn't that bad, that's true. But uh, yeah, if you guys haven't already, make sure to follow my gaming channel in the description. Make sure to hit my Twitch. Make sure to join the Discord and make sure to leave a like on this video. I said it last video, but I'll say thing for this video. If this video is able to get 50 likes, the top comment will get a $25 Amazon gift card giveaway. So do your thing, guys. Drop that like and uh, get a quick taste test. It's the biggest intro of my life, dude. The longest intro. Biggest? The biggest. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't taste anything, I just kind of chugged it. That means it didn't, it wasn't bad going down, so it's perfect. That's true. Perfect. It's all that really matters when you take your pre-workout. As long as you can bring it down, so I'm at it, but it actually tasted good. Can you get some, Kevin? Sure. Go ahead. And since we're starting with squats today, guys, I kind of want to take this video to a different direction. I want to teach you guys how to properly high bar squat. I know a lot of people don't know how to. A lot of people do low bar squats, high bar squats, mid bar squats. But I'm gonna teach you guys how to properly high bar squats. So we're gonna start with the placement of the bar. So what I like to do, first of all, is to grab the bar at about shoulder width apart. I can't about shoulder width, so you see where the, where the little uh, lack of landings are? Let's grab it, like, that's like two inches in. I pull myself towards the bar, right? One thing guys, a lot of people don't focus on is you wanna be tight the entire time. So you pull yourself towards the bar, contract your shoulder blades so almost like you're going to be on a, on a bench press you want to pinch your shoulder blades back and con contract them you know like you're trying to hold a pencil between your shoulder blades contract them you step back evenly take little steps you don't want to take big steps especially with heavier weight since you're going to end up like tearing something you just get closer it's fine and then we're going to show my feet what i like to do with my feet is i like to contract my glutes wherever i'm comfortable that's probably where you want to set your feet at a lot of people say, ah, oh, don't, don't like stick your toes out, but I just stick my toes out. That's where I'm comfortable. And when you go down, guys, like you gotta focus on is sitting down and you want your, your knees to go towards your toes, where your toes are pointed. That's the best way to do it. So you go down, and up. At the top, you contract. And that's just a quick demonstration of how to do a high bar squat. In terms of placement, again, you're gonna wanna really contract your your traps right here, your shoulder blades, because that'll create cushion for you and you won't feel the pain. It won't be directly like on your spine. So, quick demonstration on how to do high bar squats. Oh yeah, now, now, now I'm a squat. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do it that fast, <laughs> especially when trying to warm up, but I just like getting that shit done.
Oh god, that's so heavy. <laughs> oh my god. No, I'm scared. Uh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Moving on, two <laughs> stiff-legged deadlifts. Um, I need to do two squat days. I need to re, re um, what's that word? Reprogram myself. I need to reprogram myself in order to do two squat days and one deadlift day. I might even go to one deadlift every two weeks. I don't know. Let's see. Like I said guys, today is a hamstring intensive workout. If you guys saw over there, I just snatch, hook, grip, uh, stiff-legged deadlifts, which is like a weird variation of some regular stiff-legged deadlifts. I evolved the snatch to uh, get my grip better, also hook grip to get my grip better. I just practice it as well. It also just feels better. For some reason, every time I do reps, snatch grip just feels a lot better. I mean, uh, hook grip feels a lot better. We're doing now unilateral hamstring curls, and what we're focusing right now is really focusing on the contraction and the stretch. So, the contraction is when you squeeze it, the stretch is when you stretch it out, obviously. Uh, it might be obvious to some, but some people don't know that, so if you're new here, guys, hold real quick, if you're new here and want some informative type videos where I teach you guys how to work out, how to get you through like a single, singular workout or a singular exercise, leave it in the comments right now. I wanna know what you guys are more interested in seeing. I'll probably drop a comment right now, and I'll drop a few comments being like bench, bench tutorial, squat tutorial, deadlift tutorial, stuff like that. And then whatever gets the most likes from, from my comments, I'll do the next video on. But uh, we'll do this right now, let's go. Heavy.
four sets of 10 here. Um, pretty focused on the glutes here and the hamstrings again. Um, depending on your stance, you'll activate one muscle over the other. Your entire legs will be working, but if you get that muscle connection, which I have right now after really hitting hamstrings, you'll feel the hamstrings way more. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I appreciate the support. Leave a like at the video. Leave a dislike if you like the video. Leave a comment if you have any questions, have any suggestions. Also guys, uh, if you guys probably hopefully watch the whole video, you guys know what I want from you. Leave a comment, let me know what you guys want to see. Um, but yeah, we're out of here guys. Peace out.